it is easier to create adaptive UIs with new viewport size units. Color vector fonts now include support for variable fonts. The methods in the interface file system sync access handle, part of the file system access API, are now synchronous. And there's plenty more. I'm Adriana Hara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 108. The new viewport units give you more control to create adaptive UIs. These units measure the viewport area differently, depending on how they take into account UI elements in the browser that can be expanded or collapsed, like the address bar. The large units provide the viewport size, assuming that those interfaces are collapsed. On the other hand, the small units provide viewport size, assuming the interfaces are expanded. And with dynamic units, the viewport size will automatically adjust itself in response to browser interface elements being shown or not. The value in these units will be anything within the limits of the large units, the maximum, and the small units, the minimum. Check out the article in the description for more information. And it also includes a link to a related change to the Android viewport resizing behavior. Color v1, color vector fonts have been supported since Chrome 98. But the initial release supported only a static functionality of the color v1 table. But the color v1 specification also includes open type variations which means allowing changes to font properties by changing variable axis values. Such variations are supported now. This release also includes the font tech and font format condition extensions to CSS supports. With these conditions, the developer can detect when the font features are available to give the user the latest experience and also create a fallback if support is not available. To make the most of your fonts, check out the demos and examples in the link in the description. The Origin Private File System provides access to a special kind of file that is highly optimized for performance. Developers can get access to such files by calling create sync access handle, which is a method exposed on file system file handle objects. This call results in a file system sync access handle and the methods truncate, get size, flush, and close in that access handle used to be asynchronous, but they are synchronous as of Chrome 108. There is a good reason for the change. It makes the file system sync access handle match the synchronous POSIX-like file API that the WASM-based applications expect. It makes the API more ergonomic while still bringing substantial performance gains. This is a potentially breaking change. If you are using the methods above, any use of promise.then will break. If you chain a then on the result of any of the previously asynchronous and now synchronous methods, you need to change your code. For more detailed instructions, visit the article linked in the description. Of course, there's plenty more. A change in the behavior for overflow on replaced elements is being rolled out. If you are an identity provider, check out the Federated Credential Management API. Also, the Media Source Extensions API is now available in the worker context. All the details, including links, docs, and specs are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools videos, GUI challenges, HTTP 203, and more. Yo soy Adriana Jara, and as soon as Chrome 109 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome. <laughs>